What is up guys, um, welcome back to the channel, if you haven't already please subscribe, I would greatly appreciate that. Now sorry for the background noise in this video, um, it is because of the water heater that I have over there. And so this is my 2005 Civic Si EP3. This video is just going to be about future plans for the car, so let's get right into it. So looking at the engine bay, um, because of how lowered the car is, um, you can see that the steering rack, um, the end links, the angle is very very steep and that creates bump steer and multiple other problems. So um, I'll put a link in the description but there's actually a mod for this that you can put a steering rack riser, it raises it a little bit and so it can um, decrease some of the angle on that link over there so that would help a lot that's around $80 or so so I'm gonna plan to get that um, I just need to do some TLC on this this light the tint is kind of coming off and it's an old light um, I'm planning to uh, route the light bar a little bit neater um, I'll just turn that on for you guys yes yeah. very bright so I'm planning to route that a little bit neater. But for the engine bay, that's pretty much it. My paint, my valve cover, let me know what you guys think. Um, maybe an intake manifold, like a Skunk 2 Ultra Series, and um, throttle body, and then Hondata or some kind of tune. Let me know if you guys have any experience with that. Um, I would love your guys' help and input. So just put it in the description below. But for the engine bay, that's pretty much it. I also want to make some kind of plate for that button over there. So I have a Buddy Club P1 limited edition seat along with uh, the Schroth Rally 4 ASM harnesses. And that's pretty much all I really need. I might do some pedal covers, but that's not really necessary. And I'm going to do a short shifter. If you guys have any recommendations, let me know. Now for the wheels. Um, this car came with these wheels. These are drag DR31s. They're pretty heavy. They're 17 by 8 um, plus 42. So they're not the lightest wheels at 21 pounds for that size. But I'm planning to get some different wheels. Let me know your offsets and specs in the description if you have a similar car. And then I'm going to, once these wear out, which they're like probably 50% right now, I'm going to get the same tires, which are um, Bridgestone Potenza's RE70AS performance all season tires and I would say that's pretty much it this is just a short um, update video and future plans for the vehicle if you guys have any questions I'll make some follow up videos thank you so much for watching sorry for the short video but please subscribe if you haven't already help out the small youtube channels and let your passion drive you